Two Best Friends Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived an extremely smart young boy named Alan. Alan had been fascinated by science and mathematics from a very young age. He would often invent peculiar machines and solve complex math problems just for fun. To other children, Alan seemed strange, as they preferred running around or going on adventures, not thinking that math could be interesting. When Alan came of age to attend school, he was excited to finally be able to access the school's library and laboratories. On the first day of school, the shy Alan did not greet the noisy boys running around. He sat alone, quietly reading a book, in contrast to the other students only concerned with mischief and play. As Alan became engrossed in his book, a gentle voice asked is that book about science? Alan looked up to see an older boy with messy hair smiling at him. Alan said yes, that's right. My name is Alan, what's your name? The older boy replied my name is Christopher. Can I sit next to you? Alan eagerly scooted over on the bench, delighted to have someone willing to talk to him. After the lunch bell rang, Christopher said could you lend me that book after you finish reading it? If you'd like, we could find time to discuss it. I think we have a lot of common interests. Alan enthusiastically nodded and said sure, I'd love to. Over the next few weeks, Alan and Christopher met frequently to intensely discuss and debate complex scientific questions. Christopher was a little older than Alan, but he admired Alan's intelligence and curiosity. Alan also respected Christopher's breadth of scientific knowledge. Due to their shared passion for science and exploration, they spent more and more time together and grew closer. One night, as they gathered to research how to build a telescope, Alan asked do you feel like we don't get along with others? The other students think it's weird that we would spend time reading instead of playing with them. Christopher thought for a bit, then replied sometimes I do feel my interests are different from others. But I've learned to take pride in what I like. There's no need to hide it. Pointing to his head, he said my adventure games are here. Alan nodded, feeling there were people in the world who could understand him, and he was less lonely. One day, Alan overheard some boys gossiping, saying that Christopher must be cheating to get such good grades on tests. Alan knew this was nonsense they made up. He told Christopher about this, and when Christopher heard it, he became very upset and sad, unable to speak. Later, Christopher was still selected to represent the school in a math competition. But the cheating rumors made many doubtful of him. Seeing Christopher's pain, Alan was determined to think of a way to encourage him. One night, Alan sneaked into the locked laboratory. He took glass bottles, metals, and mineral samples from the cabinets. Using these materials, he made an intricate model of a hydrogen atom as a small gift of encouragement for Christopher. Alan left the model on Christopher's nightstand with a note saying go on, show them how capable you are. The next morning, Christopher discovered Alan's surprise. Looking at the exquisite hydrogen atom model and having Alan's strong support reignited Christopher's fighting spirit. He decided to ignore the nonsense rumors and focus wholeheartedly on the competition. That weekend, Christopher went to the competition and impressed every judge with his outstanding performance, winning first place in the math competition. After Christopher won the competition and returned, he immediately ran to the library to find Alan. Thank you for reminding me to have confidence in myself. 
he said to Alan. You're my best, best friend. Alan was overjoyed that he could support his friend when it mattered most, giving him the confidence to succeed. As time went by day after day, Alan and Christopher often encouraged each other, supporting their pursuits of growth in science and math. On cold winter days when they couldn't go outside, they would sit by the fireplace playing chess and discussing the latest theories by scientists, talking late into the night. On Christopher's final night before graduation, Alan sadly bid farewell to the good friend who had accompanied him growing up. They climbed onto the rooftop observatory one last time. Looking out at the endless night sky, Christopher said I'll miss our adventures together. I know you'll carry on our shared passion for science. Alan nodded saying I'll always remember to embrace the ways I'm different from others. You taught me that. In the days that followed, just as Christopher had always believed, Alan's math skills grew stronger and stronger, while Christopher continued his enthusiastic research into the cosmos. The two friends often wrote letters discussing new inventions and theories. Occasionally, when Christopher watched the sunset, he would smile slightly, feeling the universe was full of mysteries waiting to be discovered. They both always cherished the old photo taken at the observatory. All right, kids, today's story ends here. See you next time.